In a time before Twitter and such hashtags, when India's elections were first held over 1951 and 52, uh, the New York Times remarked that they are so vast and so long drawn out uh, that they are hard to grasp, either realistically or imaginatively. Um, the Indian elections today continue to be vast, and even though less drawn out uh, than those first elections, are still going to be held over a month. It's worth considering the scale of, those, uh, of these elections that has observers competing to come up with adjectives to describe their vastness and complexity, and even has tourists traveling to India on election tourism packages. Um, to vit witness this event. Um, this election involves over 814 million people um, that can vote. Um, they will vote over, or a significant number of them will vote over nine phases. Uh, the election started yesterday, will continue through May 12th, uh, with the re results being declared on May 16th. There are over 900,000 polling stations, all with electronic voting machines, and over 350 parties competing for 543 seats, uh, in the lower ho house of the Indian parliament. Uh, 